Hey everyone, today I'm coming to you guys with a fall themed edition of a hygiene routine, you guys. It's not much different from what I do in different parts of the year, but I do like to change up certain perfumes and body washes to accommodate for the season as well as different moisturizers with the changing weather. So without further ado, let's get into it. Hey y'all, what's good? My name is Kimberly B, as you can clearly see below. And today I'm coming to you guys with a video that is totally different from my natural style. I'm just here to show you guys my fall hygiene routine. So some of my items are centered around fall theme, um, but other than that as well, I do make certain little changes within my daily routine to complement the colder weather that we have coming. And of course, because we're doing a fall theme video, I just figured I might as well throw my little favorite fall candle up in the mix. So this is a candle from White Barn. It's the pumpkin apple scented candle. This currently is my favorite fall scent. All right, y'all, so to start off with teeth, I have my water pick water foster that I got from Amazon. It is definitely a game changer in making sure that you get all of the gunk in between your teeth along with regular flossing. So you still do want to have some regular dental floss and I just use the brand Reach. As well, I have this Hello Activated Charcoal Epic Whitening Toothpaste that I like to do. And it is black toothpaste, y'all. It is like, I don't know, it was so weird using black toothpaste for the first time, but um, I'm using this to help with whitening my teeth. As well, in part with that, I also do use a regular Colgate Max Fresh. Um, it's very minty, gets the job done, and I have your breath smelling fresh. So that's it. Party flosser is loud as hell. So you just push the start button, and then you can massage your gums. As well, you guys, another tool that I did forget to mention is this tongue scraper. You can order it off of Amazon. I got a pack of two on Amazon, and you can simply use it to scrape your tongue to make sure that you are getting your tongue clean as possible as well, along with everything else. So get you a tongue scraper. So of course, you have to brush your tongue with your toothbrush, but you can also brush your tongue using your tongue scraper after brushing. So yeah. So after brushing and flossing, I follow through with some Colgate Total Mouth mouthwash and I flush it through there. Cheers, y'all. Taking a shot. Other than that, on days when I'm not wearing makeup, I like to use a simple lip balm, especially with it being cold outside and getting colder. You don't want dry, cracked up, chapped lips and then your lips start splitting and stuff. So you want to keep them moisturized with something. Now moving on to skincare. So moving on to the face products, I don't use each product each day, but I interchange certain products and use others for other days, depending on the weather and depending on on my skin acts. Sometimes I have dry skin, sometimes it is very, very oily. So to sum it up, you can just say I got combination skin. So on days when I am having breakouts, I like to use my Neutrogena Deep Clean Cream Cleanser. And this get, definitely gets the job done, but my skin is very sensitive. A lot of acne products do make my skin like, it makes my skin feel like it's burning, literally. It is like, makes my face very red, but this is definitely compatible with my sensitive skin. So I like to use this on my face when I'm going through a breakout, such as right now, I am, so. On a regular day though, when my skin is acting pretty good, I like to use my Cetaphil Gentle Skin Cleanser. The first time I used this stuff, I was like, this stuff is like lotion, but it literally gets your face clean without having to go through any harsh chemicals. So those are my daily cleansers. As well, to tone my skin, I like to use my Equate Witch Hazel. It's a good facial toner. I don't like to use cotton swabs anymore to apply this to my face because I feel like little bits of the cotton rounds like get on my face, so I don't even use it. I just use my hands, fresh clean hands in Witch Hazel. As well, I have been using this serum by Art Naturals. It's a vitamin C um, brightening formula to help out with my hyperpigmentation on my face. So I like to focus this in areas where I experience hyperpigmentation on my face. Um, and this is just another way to get some vitamin C on my skin. And then as well, for days as well when 
I'm just needing a little pick me up on my skin. I like to use my Freeman Purifying Avocado Oatmeal Clay Mask. I keep it on for 10 minutes and it does feel really good on my skin. It leaves my skin looking light and tight. These for moisturizers, I go back and forth between Pons as well as Cetaphil. So the Pons moisturizer is definitely a bit heavier on the skin so on days when it's cold outside or i'm just feeling like my face is relatively dry i'll put on the pond skin cream but as well i do like to use the cetaphil moisturizing lotion because it's non-communogenic um, it doesn't cause like my face to feel like i don't know just irritated and inflamed because i did realize that for like a, a lot of products that i've used before like my skin is very sensitive to being irritated on my face so it works well with my skin, it doesn't break me out, etc. And then other than that, I also have some makeup removal wipes that I use periodically whenever I do my makeup. So they work pretty well, they're pretty basic. They get it out outside um, and having combination skin. I also do get dry patches on my face at times around the sides of my, my nose or around the sides of my mouth. So what I'll do is I'll put this just a little bit. I don't use too much. I'll put just a very little small amount on the sides of my nose and around the sides of my lips and sometimes even my cheeks too on certain parts of my cheeks and even my forehead. It's like my skin is so freaking weird but I have like dry patches at times on my face so if I do ever experience that I just put a little bit of African shea butter on those areas and I smooth it in and it does definitely help to combat that. So this is definitely essential for the colder weather months, especially for winter. So, I mean, it isn't that cold outside just yet, but I know I'm definitely gonna be needing it very soon. So, keep that. Comment down below and let me know what your favorite facial masks are. I've been sticking to the Freeman mask for a while, but I'm definitely game to looking to trying some new face masks. So let me know, y'all. So my face has air dried and mm, yeah, I'm gonna go on with the setup though. All right, so since we have finished the face and the mouth, we are moving on to the next part, which is the body. So I'm not gonna bring you all in the shower with me, but I will show you what I use. So currently right now, in honor of fall, I have this marshmallow pumpkin latte and it smells amazing. It smells really good, like really, really good. It smells like like a cinnamon, I don't know, cinnamon pie. It's kind of like a fresh, I don't know, cappuccino, frappuccino. Just, just very warm, very fall scented. And it smells very sweet as well too. So I definitely do love this. And you know, just reminds me of fall every time I take a shower. As well, in part with using body washes and scrubs, I also do like to use my regular bar soap. This is the Dove White Soap, which is just a basic bar soap um, that is relatively mild. So I like to use bar soap, of course, to wash near sensitive areas because I don't think you should be washing the outside of your hoo-ha with Bath and Body Works, okay? So you definitely um, need to have like a regular mild soap for sensitive areas. And then other than that, you should be fine to still use your Bath and Body Works on the rest of your body. So yeah. As well for exfoliating, I like to use my Caress Body Wash. This is the Shea Butter and Brown Sugar Exfoliating Body Wash. So it has a pretty gritty feeling to, to it on its own. So it's nice if you're looking to exfoliate without going through the process of making your own sugar scrub or if you did want to buy a sugar scrub you could do so as well but i think that this works pretty nice in place of a traditional um store-bought sugar scrub as well um what i like to use is a regular washcloth but in part with a regular washcloth i also do like to use my loofah to apply my body washes and on days when i'm looking to exfoliate i have these gloves here and these are exfoliator gloves you could simply 
put it on and rub it across your body in order to easily exfoliate your skin. So these are great, very, very affordable. You can probably get them at like, I don't know, any store for under $2. So okay you guys, of course after you get out of your shower, you'll need your after shower care items. So for moisturizing in the fall, currently right now I have the African Shea Butter as well that I previously showed you guys for my facial routine. So this is very nice as well for very dry hands. Um, I tend to wash my hands of course a lot with everything going on with Rona and even before and sometimes it can get kind of, kind of dry and cracked with it being colder outside. So. This is very nice to use as well on your joint areas such as your knees or your elbows or honestly just even all over if you want to just shea butter yourself all the way down and be a shea butter baby, okay? So as well for moisturizing, I like to use the Vaseline Coconut Radiant um, Lotion. This is the intensive care because my skin needs some intensive care, of course, in the fall. Um, and then just, you know, basic deodorant. I've been using the Dove Even Tone deodorant. It smells pretty nice and it's supposed to help um, with darkening under armpits, but I'm not really sure if it works just yet. I feel like mine haven't got any lighter, but I haven't been using it that long. And then for my fall scent, I absolutely love this scent right here, y'all. This is from Bath and Body Works. Simba, get out the way, please. Goodness, he just had to be in my video. Hi, say hello, everybody. So anyways, though, my favorite fall scent at this time is the Bonfire Bash scent by Bath & Body Works, and it just smells so good. It, sm it smells kind of vanilla-y, but it also smells like, I don't know, mature, but it's just a very nice scent for the fall um, that just, you know, smells pretty warm. So this concludes the video, you guys. I want to thank you all for watching and tuning in. Comment down below if you like any of the products or scents that I have mentioned or if you may have tried them yourself. And make sure that you like, subscribe, and I guess hit the bell to stay tuned. I never said that before. This is kind of crazy. <laughs> See you later. Bye.